Hi everyone. Welcome back to the sunny side. These are the weekend horoscopes for the weekend of April 8th to April 10th. 2022 for all zodiac signs. The horoscopes will begin with a general overview of some of the transits for the weekend and then we'll have the individual signs. There are timestamps in the descriptions box. As well as a link to the sunny side website. Where you can find a written copy of this video. Quick note before we begin. Sunny and SLC are still in Michigan attending a family emergency but Sunny is still scheduling private readings over Zoom while he is away. So, if you'd like a private reading, then simply smash the PayPal link in the description box and set it up. Did you guys catch that? Sunny thought it would be funny to hear me say smash the PayPal link. Okay whatever. Next. This weekend. The moon will be in nurturing. Emotional. Empathic. And caring. Cancer. On the plus side. We should all have a strong sense of family. And a desire to take care of each other. On the downside. Everyone will be late for everything. So be prepared. Now. Although the moon energy will feel disconnected from the passionate outbursts which emanated from last week's drama in Aquarius. It will form a beautiful and flowing trine to all of the healing that is shining from the romantic. Artistic. And nursing energy of Pisces. So. Although there was a lot of bad in the last week. This weekend should be a doorway to a brighter future. Jupiter is now conjunct Neptune in Pisces. Although. Jupiter conjuncts Neptune every 13 years. It hasn't happened in Pisces since 1856. In addition. Venus has also entered Pisces. And is beginning an applying conjunction. This is all adding to the Piscean themes of healing. Dreams. Mental health. And the subconscious. Remember. Sigmund Freud was born in 1856. Then again. 1856 was also the end of the Crimean War. So heads up. Okay. What does all of this mean? Sonny says. Good deeds will flow from both the likely and unlikely sources. Now. Keep in mind Mars is still in Aquarius. So there will be a strong push towards collective voices. But so what? Allowing the peeps a bit of time at the helm should go a long way to soothing ego clashes. On the other hand. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if they could just keep their shoes tied while reaching for a piece of gum. But alas. If we could do that. Then we probably would have all evolved onto the next stage by now. So whatever. But keep in mind. People heal at different speeds. Now although you might be cool for action. Buddy Jive is still wet in the sweater. So be cool and pack some extra Kleenex. What else Sunny? Okay. While all of this Kumbaya group love is extending a collective reach around. It is also giving a full frontal to the nodes who are happily standing by with their iPhones already out and ready to change your life. Water signs or people with a watery Venus can expect big gains in love and money. This includes the lottery. Financial investments. And the lottery. Like Sunny said. It hasn't happened like this since 1856. Just remember. When you win big. Make sure you peace out a bit to the sunny side. Next. Sunny says. The nodes are getting a bigger push than normal right now. This will cause a lot of endings. Or transitions. That you will not be able to return to. On one side. This event may be inevitable. So do your best to be your best. And make the most of the moments while you have them. Some of you guys will find hidden sources of strength. Perseverance. And abilities to navigate the narcissistic droppings of psychotic wandering monsters. Now. Do your best to avoid drama. And try to stay focused. Mars and Saturn are adding a very hard and painful reality to this dark yet unavoidable change coming from the nodes. So on one hand. There will be discipline. Aggression. And a desire for the group to control the outcome. This energy is forcing the change. The overwhelming Piscean energy is adding a compassionate and healing component to the change. Just be careful that you don't get fleeced by a grand illusion. Oh my goodness. Sunny is grouchy today. Next. Dear Aries. Some random internet JAFO is going to upset your virtual apple cart in such a way that you will wonder if they make love with their underwear still. On. The simple answer is maybe. Check your internet connection. Okay. Aries. One of the hotties in your orbit has secretly peeled themselves from the group and is requesting permission to land somewhere in private. Before you take a trip to the hardware store. Remember that karma is watching us all closely right now. Just because no one is watching doesn't mean that you should do it. On the other hand. 
A dry spell or hitting slump is bad for everyone on the team. Just remember, although your love is out of the public eye, live ammunition is being used. Finally Aries. Sunny says you should watch your money. The North Node in Taurus is making you take your debit card for granted. Dear Taurus, with the moon in Cancer, this should be an errand-filled weekend. Get out and get it done. Nonsense will continue behind closed doors so keep your nose clean. A public drama gives way for a more social time with the crew. This is actually the best time for you to work your hopes, dreams, and aspirations. In other words, Sunny thinks you should really aim big right now. It's time for rewards for jobs already well done. If you're looking for love then the internet might shine a light on a potential playmate. This is also a great cycle to begin an internet or network-based business. Now, with the North Node super highlighted right now, you have to watch out for accidents to the head. And believe it or not, taking yourself for granted. None of this should be weird so be cool. Imagine, you're going to win the award. So they're checking you out first. No big deal. Dear Gemini. So that's what it feels like when the North Node blows up your 12th house. It happens all around you. Out of your control. And without you knowing, but it still has a direct effect on all of who you are. Yes, life sucks sometimes but this particular transit has a silver lining. Make sure you count your blessings while you still have them. Next, Gemini. Sunny says you are going to attract more publicity and public attention this month than you have since 1856. Once again, that was 1856. So whether you feel like it or not, or if you're ready or not, you have to get out and be seen. Love and money are both waiting outside in a very public way. And they are not going to wait. So, grab your dice and let's go. Dear Cancer, everywhere you go, people notice your smile. They are also noticing that fresh wound. Try and be cool when prying eyes glance through fresh cracks in the shell. It's only a temporary scratch job. And you've seen it before. As Venus enters Pisces, a big pull will arrive from a distance. Will you travel this month or will someone come to you? Joint finances become stressed as someone questions how much was spent on hair extensions. Yes. Sunny is that good. Next. Cancer. Sunny says to watch your health. Astrologically you should be okay but you are under a lot of stress protecting what is rightfully yours. And Sunny is just checking up on you. Imagine. Saturn is in your eighth house. Taking away and restructuring your joint finances. Mars is also in your eighth house. Putting an edge or fighting spirit towards breaking up a financial partnership. In other words, cancer. Someone might get really sick. And whether someone tries to take your money or not, bills will still be due. Bummer. Dear Leo oh oh. Well Leo. Goodbyes are painful but what are you going to do? On the plus side joint finances get a boost. So you're either going to inherit some money or win a nice legal settlement. So some of you should come into some money but remember. An inheritance usually arrives after someone dies so keep your eyes open. Now. Leo isn't really known as a sign that succumbs to the pressures of drugs and alcohol but you should be extra careful with your good time this. Weekend. And yes. Before you ask. Sunny says. Your love life will suck but your sex life will take a pleasant journey to the land of tickles and tequila. Have fun but try to keep it out of the news. A journey is on the horizon. Dear Virog. Choose wisely dear Virog. Love will say hello with open arms and a change of address. But you have to sit down and take a hard look at the finances. Currently. The sun in Aries is shining on your shared resources. And you would love to leap forward with your own arms outstretched. But there's a fresh wound that has you a touch skittish. In other words. They can stay the night but Sunny says they should keep it to the couch. Uptight much Sunny. Sheesh. Next. Dear Virog. A change is here. Your day-to-day life is filled with little dramas so be careful where you step. It's a good weekend to pull together with brothers and sisters. So. If you haven't spoken with them in a while. It might be a good weekend to reach out and heal old wounds. On the bonus side. With Venus entering Pisces. You'll feel a strong pull towards partnering with others. Neptune and Jupiter are also conjunct in Pisces. This is a very rare transit that hasn't occurred since 1856. So. Virog. It's your move player. What's the action? Dear Libra. Our most beautiful sign. You might be left wondering what happened in your love game. 
Sonny always says, there's no such thing as a single Libra. But the romantic drama is so high right now. You might want to switch to the sidereal zodiac for a while. And wait things out as a virog. Sunny also says there are a lot of Libra sunny siders who have kids and you should double check that they're okay. There is a lot of love in the air but a bit of danger still remains. So don't cut corners. Next. Dear Libra. Venus joins Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces allowing you to take a breather and finally cut some corners. Seriously sunny. WTF. Okay Libra. Keep your sock on. Here we go. Your fifth house of romance. Creative projects. And making babies. All continue to be under attack. Accidental pregnancies and miscarriages mark this astrological time period. Imagine. Saturn is putting in the hard work. And grinding it out in your love or creative game. And Mars speeds everything up. This will cause a problem. That despite the doom and gloom. Doesn't have to be a problem. Unless of course. It is. So that's the bad. On the plus side. This is a really good time to start a business. And love is waiting at the office or coffee shop. Or Whole Foods if you're a vegan in Arizona. Dear Scorpio. Sonny says he's been dreading the arrival of this week for the last two months. If you've been following the sunny side horoscopes. You should have been somewhat forewarned. But nothing can ever really prepare you for when serious and irreversible tragedy really strikes. Sonny does expect Scorpio to survive this storm. Next. Dear Scorpio. Remain on the alert for problems at home. It could be something simple like a rent increase. Or it might involve a full-on move. Or even a possible death in the family. So be cool and keep your eagle eyes open. On the very plus side. All of the healing and love energy is adding a romantic boost that will jazz Scorpio's love and gambling game more than any other time since 1856. You are absolutely romantically on fire right now so remember. Tan lines are considered underwear in some parts of the world. Next. All Scorpios should buy lottery tickets for the rest of the month. Take chances in love. And have fun with the kids. Dear Sagittarius. Absolutely watch your driving this weekend. Now that we have that out of the way. Let's begin focusing on the good. The buildup of feel-good energy flowing from Pisces may be great news for some of the signs but for Sagittarius. It will square your natal sun. This means. All of the dreamy. Healing energy doesn't actually jive with your straight shooting. Get to the point kind of action. At the same time. It is a blessing we haven't seen in a while so maybe you have to make the most of it while you can anyways. All of this energy is happening at home. This means you might make some money in real estate. You might take some time to upgrade the house. Some of you will move. And others might have some people move in. In other words. Your home base is currently blessed. Make the most of it by working from home and inviting friends over for some fun. Sonny says. He knows. Sagittarius. It might be a boring at home weekend for you but love is still hovering so keep your eyes on the prize. It's still time for prep work. Dear Capricorn. First. Sonny says. Go Tiger Woods. Good luck at Augusta. Next. Dear Capricorn. It's that time of the month again. Time to check in with your dearest supermodel action girl. Hey baby. What's up? I just dropped in to pay some bills. And maybe get a little something something from my bunny love. Okay. Dear Sonny. I asked both Alexis and Seri. And they both said. No one actually talks like that. Okay. Whatever. Dear Capricorn. Let's focus on the good for the weekend. This weekend. You are entering a cycle where great things are happening to your brothers and sisters. Expect those close to you to get a sudden boost of well-deserved recognition. You should also be receiving a new car. Motorcycle. Computer. Cell phone. Or little brother. Now. This should be a fun weekend of social activities. Running around. Maybe working the phones. But definitely reaching out and saying hello. Moving forward. You should be thinking sales and new business at the office. Your success is in your own hands. Just make sure you take a little time out for love. Dear Aquarius. If you survived this last week. Congratulations. The astrological tension was hurting Aquarius more than most of the other signs. On the downside. Not all of you are out of it yet. So keep cool and stay alert. Now for the weekend. The Cancer Moon will have everyone a little moody. Slow. And inconsistent to say the least. You will be left standing there perplexed and waiting. With the Moon in the sixth house. 
you might find yourself overcome with a desire to walk the dog or clean the house. Wow. Fun. Even Virog is having a good time. But you know Aquarius. The air signs are getting a bit of wind up the skirt this weekend so swing with the fences and relax. Okay. For the really good news. You have just entered one of your best money attracting cycles since 1856. Kwan is oozing from everywhere for you right now so pick up a sponge and soak some of it up. And of course don't forget to share because karma is watching. Dearest Pisces. Sunny wanted to make a joke about love waiting at the hospital for all of the Pisces sunny siders who work in the health industry but alas. That's not the Pisces love action for the weekend. And you should probably try to stay out of hospitals as a general rule anyways. Okay. The warnings are going to stop about that behind the scenes mofo action that's trying to jack you up the emergency exit. But for now you should keep cool. And if the tornado didn't hit. Count your blessings and move on. On the super duper very plus hey how are you doing kind of astrological transits. Neptune. Jupiter. And Venus. Are all transients your natal sun. And this is blessing you with massive abundance and really good looks. If there is anything that you want. All you have to do is show your face and ask. It is a very lucky time for Pisces so for the next month you should be buying lottery tickets. This is a very good time for Pisces to launch a business. And to put themselves first for a change. Love is obviously everywhere for Pisces right now. And you could easily steal a couple of boyfriends if you wanted. But be cool. Karma is still watching from behind the veil. Sunny says you should take a rain check and wait until they break up.